all right folks we're back out here again we got overcast rainy conditions uh you know the bass love this so let's see what's going on might be some schoolies around blues whatever's there that's what we're fishing for we're fishing for whatever's there let's see what happens Casting out this uh, little spook. It's the uh, top knock, actually. The Ozuri top knock. Love this little plug. Top water, spook style lure. There's bait around. I already seen him jumping around. Just got to see what they want to feed on, see what they want to hit. There we go. We just got hit. Didn't take it, slow it down a little bit, see what happens. Maybe he didn't want it that fast. Maybe he had an issue with the speed. There's definitely fish here though, that's a very good sign. Very good sign. Still got stingrays around too. My buddy yesterday. There we go. Just had another hit. Come on, baby. There you go. Take it if you want it. All right, well, we got fish here, so I'm definitely gonna uh, keep fishing it. Like I said before, uh, a buddy of mine had a uh, hooked up on a cow nose, so small one, but there's still cow nose rays around, so you just gotta be careful. Yep, that was fish right there. Little snappers chasing that bait. There you go, baby. Take it, take it. It's yours if you want it. You want it. They're confused. They don't know what to do. I'm going to send this out one more time. This time I'm going to work it a little different. Work it with the rod to the side. Give it a little bit more of a uh, slower retrieve here. There we go. They want it. They're just not sure if they're going to hit it or not. There he goes, he's on it again. Scoping it out, they're confused. He wants it. I hope that camera is picking everything up, man. There we go. All right, you know what? Got an idea. Switch this up. Switch this plug to something else. All 
I'm gonna switch it up to a bucktail. So this is a uh, one ounce Andreas Jetty Caster. Uh, I like this color, this green. I got a little otter tail on there. See if um, see if they'll go for that. Now, here the way I work the bucktail is a little, a lot different than the beach, for the simple fact that if you let it hit bottom and stay there, you're gonna grab all the seaweed, and I don't want to deal with that. So, my retrieve speed is not as slow, but it's a little bit. I'm sorry, not as fast, but it's a little bit uh, uh, faster than I would retrieve it on a beach. Uh, down here in these areas we have uh, uh, rocks as you can see we got seaweed there we have rocks and there's a lot of seaweed over here but they'll hit it just got to keep it as best as I can right off the bottom keep it seaweed free and uh, they'll take it there we go fish on fish on on the bucktail there we go Nice yeah, size fish. There we go. Let's get them in. Seems like a bass because he ain't jumping like a blue. We'll see in a second. Oh, he had a follower. Ah, might be a small blue. Actually, not too small. Yeah, buddy. On the bucky. On the bucky. That's what we like to do. I love the bucktail. One reason why I love the bucktail is because you only got one hook to worry about. Sometimes when you got bigger fish, that makes a big difference. Oh, look at that beautiful bat, uh, bluefish. That's a nice one right there. That is a nice blue. Nice size. Beautiful. Oh, buddy, if you take it easy, I'm going to help you out. Just can't bite me. There we go. Oye! Look at it! You want it? Nice size blue right there, decent on the bucktail.